Tomorrow, the U.S. will lift the travel ban on international visitors that's been in place for almost 20 months now. Dave, we've been talking for almost 20 months about getting back to some kind of sense of normalcy, and this is a major step. Yeah, it really is. A lot of people we talked with uh, tonight here at Philadelphia International Airport, they're relieved to get back to some sense of normal, but they're cautious, too. People grabbing their luggage from domestic flights home this weekend are watching closely as the U.S. lifted its ban to travelers from 30 countries in place for the last year and a half Monday. But as much as one may love a good foreign trip, many are being cautious. And I'm still a little nervous about international travel because I think every country has all the different rules. Fran Feldbaum of Voorhees worries about potential confusion. And you don't know what you're going to hit, and I don't want to get stuck over there if something should happen and there's another outbreak and then I can't get home. Philadelphia International Airport says it will have passenger assistance staff ready to help international travelers as they move through customs. Travelers heading to the U.S. need to show proof of vaccination, and only vaccines approved by the FDA or World Health Organization will be accepted. Proof of negative COVID tests will be in the mix, too. I think that's fine. I'm vaccinated. I think everybody should be vaccinated. So I'd be happy if they required it. That wouldn't bother me. Many only wonder if the airlines can handle an expanded load of travelers with systemic problems already impacting domestic flights lately. It makes you a little nervous because you hear all the people talking about um, flights being canceled and everything else. And as you can imagine, airline industry experts, they're going to be watching this very closely. And many of them say that there will be a large influx of travelers coming in from places like Europe. And they say that will really help the industry globally and badly needed, some might say, as well. Back to you. Dave Kinchin, thank you very much.